Today I'm going to be starting on a Chef's Cleaver. Uh, different from what you would think of as Cleaver. It's a, it, I think the name, I think it's actually a, a Serbian Chef Cleaver. Uh, anyways, I had somebody ask me if I could make them one, so I looked them up and I drew me one out here, and that's what I'm going to try to make. So I'm going to start making today. So that's the picture that I've got drawn out. I mean, I, I might not make it look exactly like it, but that's what I'm going to go by to make this. Dog walked by. Didn't want to burn her. Hurt her. Let me do that now. Now 
I want to bring it down a little bit more right here. Now I can start cleaning it. Cleaning that up and grinding it off, grinding all the scale off, getting it ready to quench. I'm starting back on the on the Serbian chef's knife cleaver, chef knife slash slash cleaver. I had to. I've already quenched it, hardened up the blade. And I've started putting the bevel in. Now before I did all that, whenever I got done forging it out I did go ahead and I smoothed this all down I had it all took out every every rough spot I could in the blade the high spots I got it I did it just like I was going to finish the knife and then after I quenched it now that I've just barely hit the sides of it on the sander just to bring out the different look at it, leaving the dragon scale on. I'm leaving the dragon scale on because most of these are still still have the dragon scale on them. And plus, the person who's wanting it, that's the way he wants it too, I think. He said he wanted it just like a picture he showed me, so I did put a little, my own little touch on it. But I think he'd be all right with that. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put the bevel on it, get it ready to put the handle on. Now, when I go to put the handle on, I'm not going to leave all this dragon scale on, on here. I am going to clean all that off. If I don't, then the handle scales more than likely will not stick to it. I've got the handle on it. Uh, got, I've almost got the edge on it. I ain't, I ain't gonna put it, make it fully sharp yet. But uh, now I'm getting ready to stain the handle. I did go ahead and buff the blade, just to that'll help. Even if it's rough like that, it'd help keep it from rusting. If uh, you know moisture gets on it, go ahead and buffing it. What the compound does does help protect it. So that's what I'm fixing to do now is I'm going to stain up this handle get the sharp edge on it and uh, I'll be back after I get that done we'll see what it looks like then. So the only thing I got is an old tater to cut this with, or to cut with this. So let's let's just see. Make tater chips with it. Look at that. That thing is pretty sharp, and I'm done with it. Cut my finger. I'm done with it now. I was saying I was done with it, cut my finger, but you can say, uh, just barely started cutting the skin off. So I think it's sharp enough.